A bridge is a practical device that can be used to link far-off locations that are divided by wetlands, steep terrain, or water. Bridges are necessary not only to reduce travel times between two distant locations, but also to move goods and services, whether one is moving on foot, by car, or by rail. Bridges, however, also stand for something else, something a lot more challenging to measure, something best defined as an emotion, the kind of feeling that is equally likely to surface when admiring a well-known piece of art. People are drawn to bridges not merely for their practical use, but also because they are iconic features in the surrounding landscapes that evoke wonder and beauty. Here are some of China's 45 billion biggest mega bridges in Africa. Make sure to stick around till the end. Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge. It is anticipated that the Philippines Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge will come with a price tag of about $3.6 billion. The four lane, 32.2 kilometer long, cable stayed bridge will span Manila Bay. It will link Barangay Timalan in Nike. Cavite, and Barangay Alasasin in Marivelis, Bataan. The project consists of two cable-stayed bridges. The primary span of the North Channel Bridge will be 400 meters. The South Channel Bridge is planned to span 900 meters. They can both stand in up to 50 meters of water. A thorough engineering design for the structure is being developed by the engineering firms Tilin, Pyunghua, engineering consultants in the Republic of Korea, Renadet in Switzerland, and DCCD Engineering Corporation in the Philippines. The project is scheduled to begin in 2024. Fourth Mainland Bridge. For the 2.5 billion Fourth Mainland Bridge, the consortium led by the China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation has been granted preferred bidder status. The 37 kilometers long project will connect Lagos City with Lagos Island. It will lessen traffic on the 1990 built third mainland bridge. Along with carrying two four-land carriageways, the bridge will have nine interchanges, three toll booth areas, and 4.5 kilometers. For the benefit of the Lagos state government, it will run on the design, build, finance, operate, maintain, and transfer model. The construction is expected to begin this year and be finished in 2027. China Communications, China Road and Bridge, and Portuguese contractor Mota Engel form a consortium that is the reserve bidder, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Railway Bridge. Nearly 60% of the Bangabandhu Railway Bridge has already been constructed by two consortia headed by Japanese builders. The 4.8 kilometers steel truss bridge in Bangladesh spans the Jamuna River and is dual gauge and dual track. It will require 49 spans and 50 piers to be built. The eastern package of the works is being constructed by the joint venture Obayashi Toa JFE. The western package is being worked on by a joint venture between Sumitomo Mitsui Construction and IHI infrastructure systems. A 7.6 kilometers long double line approach embankment is part of the additional work. The about 1.6 billion project is scheduled for completion in 2025. Africa's longest bridge. The Tanzanian parliament is now debating plans to construct the longest bridge in Africa. The main city of Tanzania, Dar es Salaam, will be connected to Zanzibar Island by a 50 kilometer bridge. The project is still in its early phases and neither the cost nor the specifics of its construction are known. Tanzania's Deputy Minister of Works and Transport, Jeffrey Kasakenya, declared in May of this year that the China Overseas Engineering Group company has been in advanced discussions with stakeholders in Zanzibar and mainland Tanzania, indicating their enthusiasm in working together on the project. To expedite the bridge's construction, a partnership with the business sector is anticipated to be a part of the project. Although negotiations for the project began in March 2023, 
a start date for construction has not been set. Fourth Panama Canal Bridge. The $1.5 billion. Fourth Panama Canal Bridge is expected to begin construction this year, according to the Panamanian government. In 2018, a partnership consisting of China Harbor Engineering Company and China Construction Communications Company was awarded the contract to construct the Panama Cuarto Puente. The Panamanian government, however, decided to put off funding for the bridge to concentrate on building a 2.5 billion metro line. In January 2023, Rafael Sabonje, the Minister of Public Works, said that bridge building would proceed. Tylin is working as an engineer on the Cable Stayed Bridge, which is three kilometer long. Its main span will measure 510 meters in length and 51 meters in width, with two towers. 75 meters above the Panama Canal will be the central span. Gordy Howe International Bridge. The Detroit River is crossed by the six-lane Gordy Howe International Bridge, a toll bridge that connects Windsor, Ontario, and the city of Detroit. Its primary span will be 0.53 miles, 0.85 kilometers, making it the longest cable-stayed bridge in North America when it is completed in 2024. The design and build contract is valued at $2.68 billion, while the overall project cost for the 1.5 miles, 2.4 kilometer crossing is 4.42 billion. The bridge is being implemented by ACS Infrastructure Canada, 40%, Floor Canada, 40%, and Acon Concessions, 20%, as a joint venture. A 36-year designs, builds, financed, operated, maintained concession will be managed by it. The operations, maintenance, and rehabilitation phase of the project will be funded with the remaining 1.5 billion. When compared to standard procurement, the DB FOM technique is anticipated to save $470 million. Thank you for exploring China's remarkable impact on African infrastructure through its $45 billion investment in mega bridges. As these colossal structures connect nations and foster economic growth, they stand as a testament to the evolving global landscape and the collaborative efforts shaping our interconnected world. Please like this video and share. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you.